How's it going everyone? Iman with Dune Serpent. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so I figured I'd just film something up today. I don't have my truck, so there really hasn't been anything to film, and I've pretty much covered every other vehicle in my driveway as of right now. Vehicles come and go in the driveway, so we're all caught up with that. But I kind of wanted to give an update on what's taking so long with the build and what we've ran into. Before I start the video, I do want to say I do have flags for sale and many different color options. You can see here, let me turn the camera. <clears throat> I got the original logo. I got a Skeletor logos as well for sale. Make sure to DM me on Instagram if you want to get your own flag uh, and support the channel. All the funds go right back into the build, back into the video making and all that so I can make more content for you. Now, a lot of things have happened. And by the way, if I cut this video off short for any purposes, probably because I'm gonna get a work call or something like that. So there might be some cuts here and there. But it's been three months now that the truck has been with Louie. It's been a long time, but like, you know, this is what happens when you start to get into some serious stuff with the truck, like a full floated rear end, putting a Tundra steering rack. Um, and like you come into a lot of problems, you change your mind on a lot of things. Like, for example, I'm not putting the handbrake in. It was more work than I realized. So I'm saving that for another project. We don't have time to put the front bump stops in front of the truck. That's a lot of time. So we have to actually postpone that to September. I'm doing a video right now. What's up, Dune fans? Hey, everybody. I'm gonna cut this out of the video. Hey, look, we're matching white, white. Hey guys, I'm the Dune brother. This is, I'm this the is one, my brother. I'm the one who funds this operation. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm the one who funds this whole operation. Right. Where else do you get your truck money from, huh? What'd you say? Where All right, my little brother funds my truck. Um. A lot of things were missing. I'm not going to hate on Dirt King here. I love Dirt King because obviously the entire truck is a Dirt King build, but we were missing a lot of stuff from Dirt King that we didn't know we needed. Um, Louis has been spending time cycling the rear end. It's hitting a bunch of stuff. Uh, the drive shaft took three weeks alone to get made. It was the only shop in Orlando's advanced drive line. Uh, that took a long time. We had to cut some arch supports. I'll put some pictures right about now. Uh, the third member's on, drive shaft's on, rear end's on, uh, all the positioning, the pinion angles for the spring under perches are on, the bump pads are on, everything's there. Uh, the parts that, the machined parts that hold the rotors were machined wrong, so we had to send those back, we got the wrong hubs, we ran into that, we gotta get those sent back from Dirt King, so it's just like back and forth a lot. Um, it's a pain, but it's like, it's a part of the process. I got fiberglass, which I'll cover in another video. I'm replacing the fiberglass in the rear. Let's see, Tundra steering rack went in pretty well. The tie rods went in, no problem. We switched from 35s to 33s, true 33s, Toyo MT, 295-7017s. What else is happening with the build? Pretty much that's it. I'm just waiting for the new hubs to come back and the correct Willwood package for the rear. So once that's back, we should be good to go. Then we'll be cycling everything. We were hitting the smog boxes um, under the bed of the Tacoma at full droop, I mean at full compression. It was hitting those boxes. So we're probably just gonna leave them there, maybe trim some of it off because we don't want to remove that. Uh, but we'll see what happens when I'm out there hitting the woofs because obviously everything actually does move back and forth dramatically. So we'll see what happens with that. We have to put the limit straps on. Um, hopefully we could still cycle about 18 inches of travel is the goal, but realistically, I feel like I'm actually going to lose a little bit. I think I'm going to be down to 17 inches. The axle's bigger. So I'm going to be hitting a lot more things at full compression. Um, and since the housing is a little wider, if this makes any sense, we're going to lose a little bit because the shock taps are kind of in a different location. So we might lose a little bit of droop, but still, if, my, if I can get 17 inches of travel on a Toyota Tacoma in the rear, I'm happy because that's pretty much all I need out here in Florida. I've had no issues with travel out here. So if anything, I want more travel in the front because the rear has been outperforming the front of my truck. But with these bump stops going in the front, I should be pretty good because I've been bottoming out pretty hard. And with the old 32 inch tires, it was a pain. So once those go in, I should be ready to go. I am losing 
the ABS wire that goes to the rear, so I can't see how fast I'm going. And somehow the ABS wire is connected to the four wheel drive system. So engaging four wheel drive is either gonna work or it's not gonna work. I, sorry, I had to cut the video. The four wheel drive wire in the rear is gonna be removed, which is connected with the ABS wire. So when I turn on the four wheel drive, it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. I've tested this out before when I was out there, I would turn it on, sometimes it would actually engage the four wheel drive and sometimes it wouldn't. I'm not too worried about it because I have the full locker in the back or the spool. So it's gonna be locked at all times. So I'm barely gonna use four wheel drive, knock on wood. But if I have to use it, I'm just gonna have to hope for the best and hope that it turns on. It, it probably will after a couple minutes, but that's just one of those things I'm gonna to have to deal with, with removing the ABS and four wheel drive wire connected to the OEM rear end. My own OEM rear end is sold. Sorry if I keep stuttering. I can't hear myself. I have these noise canceling headphones. I'm trying to improve the sound quality. But um, yeah, the OEM rear end has been sold and there's no going back now. The new rear end looks sweet. Can't wait to test that thing on the road. So the Tundra steering rack, the 529 gears, the spool, this thing's gonna drive really well. I am gonna lose a lot of horsepower, but at the same time, I have really good traction, steering and gear ratio. So it should be good. Should help with that a little bit when I'm off-road. As long as I'm happy off-road, that's all that matters because I do not drive this truck on the street. After that, the cage, which I don't honestly know when that's gonna be. It was supposed to be now, but this bill postponed that and I'm waiting for Axiom Race Fabrication to message me, give me a two to three week heads up so I can actually send the truck over there because the arch supports being cut for the drive shaft to cycle up and down has created a weak point in the middle of my chassis. So I have to actually work around that and have them fab something up to kind of connect the center of my chassis or just build a really beefy cage to make sure everything's really tight because that center mount being cut is an issue in the middle. The Tacoma chassis flex quite a bit. Luckily, I'm gonna be really secure in the front and the rear. Everything's tied in, so the cage should take care of the rest with that. I'm not even, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm not even looking forward to the cage for safety. I'm just looking forward to the performance. Having a really tight chassis is gonna improve the ride quality dramatically. Everything's gonna be tight and together. The engine cage, uh, everything's already connected in the rear with the uh, spring under uh, hanger support bar that we put. It's plated in the rear, so it's just gonna get better and better, one strong unit. And after that, there's really nothing else to do on this truck. All we have to do is wait. I'm just gonna be doing some cosmetic stuff like painting fiberglass, line X, things like that, all cosmetic, PPF. And from then on out, once the cage is in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all out in the interior. I care about the interior of the truck very well. It's gonna be all black and gray. Maybe some carbon fiber accents, why not, you know? It doesn't hurt. And after that, literally the only thing I can do is an engine swap, which is extremely expensive. I'm looking into it. It's way more than I thought, but I'm gonna try to run this engine into the ground because why not? And then once that happens, then we'll look into other engine options. I'm still sat on the LSX 454. I think Donut Media made a video with an LSX 454 on a long travel Ford Ranger. They went through every step, so check that video out. And most importantly, they went over how much it costs. So it is extremely expensive, but you get to see what goes in behind putting an LSX 454, the 4 lady transmission. It is a mess, but like, you know, it's one of those things. Now that I've gone this far into tearing my truck down, nothing scares me anymore. It's just like, anything's possible if you have the money to do it. Uh, it is very expensive, but that's how you have to look at it. Like all these problems, if as long as you have money to build these trucks, it can happen. But if you don't have money, just set it aside and be patient. A lot of people cheap out on their bills and it's gonna cost more in the future. This bill is taking me a long time because I'm going the correct route. I've been saving money on the side to make sure that I do this bill perfectly. I don't want any problems in the future. So, I mean, I've had this truck now actually five years. So this bill has been going on for five years if you really think about it. And the whole long travel scene started in 2021 where I wanted to go full long travel. So it takes time, it's not easy. Even if you have all the money in the world, all these parts, labor, and all these issues you're gonna run into, it, you know, it takes a long time. Money can't speed the process up, can't build the parts. Um, so you're just gonna have to be patient with it and go the right route and you too can't build a pre-runner like this, but this is just the reality of how long it takes for just a simple full floated rear end in the back. It's already three months in. So whenever you see those videos like Kibbe Tech, Morgan Clark, they've been working on a truck for an extremely long time. I'm not even gonna compare my truck to their trucks. They're dealing with way crazier stuff than I am. But you just see how much work they're going through and why it's taking so long. Like I totally understand why it takes years to build the perfect truck. But anyways, that's where I'm at right now. Just gonna wait for the hubs, the machine parts, the rotors, and we should be good. Then hydraulic bumps, cage. 
But I just wanted to update everyone because I've been kind of ghost mode. I haven't really been able to film anything. I'm really sad that I don't have my truck right now. I've been wanting to off-road so much. When you don't actually have your truck, you just start to feel it. You're like, man, like, what am I going to do today? I can't go off-roading. I've just been wakeboarding all summer, which is fun, but you know, my knees can only take so much. So I'm just waiting for that truck to get finished. And then all the pre-running, hopefully it will begin around September and go into the winter when the weather actually gets cool. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. I appreciate all the support. Once again, I do have flags for sale, stickers, patches, all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. I'm, if you guys purchase some, cause I'm trying to start a business with this and you know, keep this channel growing. And most importantly, spread dune serpents all over the United States of America. That's what the goal is. Anyways. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.